Hello and welcome to Sydney, Australia. As many of you may know, I'm originally from London in the UK and this week a story over there has caused quite a bit of controversy and as a Londoner myself, it's interested me quite a lot. It concerns a user of the London Underground, the tube system, that's the network of trains under the ground in London, being abused by a tube employee, a tube worker. And it's got a lot of people going, including myself, now, i better talk about my own experiences on London Underground first. In general, I found the service of the staff pretty friendly. My own station, Gloucester Road in London, has a couple of staff in particular who are always very friendly, always give me a cheery greeting, and are always very polite. But of course, as in any profession, there are a few bad eggs, and this was no exception. The behaviour of the employee was absolutely disgusting, and it was out of order, and it was not justified. But there are a few observations I would like to make about the clip. Okay, you've now seen the clip. Here are a few observations of mine. Firstly, the tube worker does not seem to be, to me, as aggressive in tone as some descriptions have made out. Yes, he's rude, and he's totally out of order, and I don't believe he's justified from what I've seen, or in any form, as an employee, for using the words he used and the phrases he used. But in his tone, I didn't find him that aggressive. Secondly, the person travelling on the tube is often described as elderly. I looked at him, yes he had grey hair, white hair, whatever you want to call it, but he didn't look that elderly to me, he could have easily been in his 50s. And thirdly, we only see, of course, what we see on the video. We don't know what was said beforehand to lead the employee to speak like that to the passerby, to the user of the tube. So I think what I'm saying is, despite the fact that the tube employee's language was out of order, the way he spoke to him was certainly not justified. There is more to this, and I'd really like to know exactly what was said before and after the clip was made. Anyway, that's my take on it. Certainly don't justify what he was saying, and I certainly think he was out of order. But I also would like to know perhaps the bigger picture. Thanks.